Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome once again today and let's talk about Vice President of United States Kamala Harris. I'll be speaking in English and Kiswahili. Kamala Harris was born in 1960 uh, or six, 1964 to be specific and he grew up in a humble home and did his studies and you know became an advocate and you know ascending to the ranks of vice president from 2003 till now and you know there are some things i want us to check together about the woman that will be the next leader of united states of america a prophecy was done in 1960 and 1930s that a woman wearing a purple robe will ascend to power. Mwanamke amevaa nguo ya purple at ascend to power. Na tuliona hiyo wakati wa Kamala Harris anapoapishwa. A lot of prophecies were done by by men of God about a woman wearing a purple robe will ascend to power and he will be a leader that will be loved by many. Let me tell you, you have not loved this woman yet. The world will come to love this woman like nobody's business. I tell you the truth, they own media. Just the other day they have he, he ascended to presidential seat just to cover the president. The president had an issue and he was the acting president. They say for 90 minutes, I, I don't know, but you can see CNN reporting about her. Now, the next election, he will race because remember before he was VP, before he withdrew to VP, he did he, he did a nomination for presidential but you need to look at some of his agenda this woman is in support of the lgbt community with everything in her she has promised you can read in her in her instagram page she has promised to work with them no matter what and to make them comfortable in america now this is your is the next president of america and he is against god this is the next president of america and he is against god you can never endorse what god has rejected when you uh, endorse what god has rejected you and god are not in the same book so i can imagine a nation being led with kamala harris and it's gonna happen this is a prophecy that i'm doing without closing my eyes so that you know his agendas are twisted the media will make everybody love him he will be the most charismatic leader you know all smiley all laughing all the time she will be loved by many and uh, she will the media will support him to the core this is the first black Amer african american woman to ascend to that rank and asian american woman to ascend to that rank let me tell you according to the bible paul said women should be led because it was not the man who ate the fruit but it was a woman who was cheated and he accepted to eat to eat the forbidden fruit i tell you the truth times are coming and times will be hard when this woman uh ascend to power things you will realize that the world should not be led by a woman one thing that will happen america will engage in war america will engage in war wataanza vita sijui na inchi gani another thing women empowerment 
will be to the level that you've never seen utapea mwanamke mimba my friend useme ati mmeachana amuelewani your salary up to 70% will be for that woman it doesn't matter if you have another family you will you, it will be even next to impossible to have another family remember one of her characteristics she doesn't like wearing dress and skirts she is always in jeans like a man you understand um like like a man you will, when you look her properly akona vako za kichali chali but let me tell you you've never witnessed you've never witnessed trouble in this world the day muombe tu asikue urezo but the way things are she will be the next president i tell you the truth if it happens joe biden dies any moment from now this woman will ascend to power mind you don't forget that in america those people who voted joe biden 48% wanasema wamekuwa frustrated they, if they can rethink again they will not have voted for him hizo siku tu chache ameshaleta mambo mingi ameharibu pale USA hizo siku chache 48% wana regret kum vote in i tell you the truth time is coming that you will not be able to defend yourself and be proud that you are a man a man will be pushed to the corner i tell you the first thing that we have lost our position as the day this world will be led by a woman just know that day we have we have missed it just know that we are in trouble we are to lead women they are not the one to lead us and they'll be they'll get empowered women will be empowered my friend ilo jayon grants jobs offices gender equality they'll demand 50% of women in every parliament globally globally Watch out because your next president is not your friend. Your next president he's not she is not your friend. Ah uh, till next time whatever you do with that information God bless you. Pray that God will raise people or a man but I feel even if you pray it's a prophecy that was made and right now we are in the last day so no matter what we do she will be the president the world is in a fallen state we will have to 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 witness some of the things that are not um some of the things that are not interesting or or or, or what vitu ambazo si mzuri kuona but may god help you because the rise of kamala harris will be the fall of america as she is ascending to power america is falling as america is falling we are towards the end of the world the rapture it may take 10 20 years can you imagine if 2022 We are here we are with all this drama. Can you imagine this world in 2020 2030 If in 2021 you you wake up with uncertainty. If you watch news you will go crazy. People killing each other. The rise of of LGBT on social media in Africa it has been Africans have accepted it. Eh? Perversion to the highest level. People sleeping with their mother. You saw an artist Kodak Black dancing and grabbing her mother's uh, bamba. 
if that is you know every rapper uh, talking about weed sex and you know everything fighting you every advert women doing it everything being sexualized and boy child under attack if this is where we are 2021 can you imagine how the world will look like 2050 do you even wish to be alive darkest time ahead may god help us may god help our soul it is not a game in the park thank you